The lightsaber is an incredibly complex weapon, and it's even more complex a weapon to be able to use effectively in combat. The lightsaber is a specialized tool that only Force sensitives have found consistent success with. Using a lightsaber effectively without the Force is a nigh impossible task, as the weapon would pose more danger to the wielder than it ever would an opponent. That being said, there are a few highly trained characters in the Star Wars universe that are capable of wielding one such a weapon without the gift of the Force, and we are here today to talk about the top six. Number six, Proxy. Proxy was an experimental droid developed specifically to train Darth Vader's secret apprentice, Starkiller, in lightsaber combat. Proxy had no core lightsaber fighting style, instead mimicking the abilities and sequences of others. Proxy has been known to mimic great duelists such as Obi-Wan and Darth Maul. Proxy is effectively the machine that allowed Starkiller to progress as far as he did when concerning his prowess as a duelist. Proxy was specifically created to punish and craft the young boy so that one day he could have the potential to take on real Jedi and possibly even assist Vader in overthrowing the Emperor. Since Proxy was a droid, he has no strength or connection with the Force, just tons of records and data on lightsaber combat and skilled duelists of the past which he effectively copies. Number 5, Cad Bane. Cad Bane has only ever been displayed using a lightsaber once, but the fact that he was brave enough to not only engage a Jedi with it, but Master of Sarisu Obi-Wan Kenobi is astounding. Bane's enhanced reflexes and skill as a marksman no doubt assisted him in this feat. Bane is also highly specialized in the capture and death of Jedi. This gave him tons of hands-on experience fighting Jedi and even studying how they used the Force and lightsabers. Bane even went as far to craft special tools specifically used to combat Jedi, such as shock gloves and rocket boosters. Bane was one of the most skilled and highly trained bounty hunters and Jedi killers of his time, and it is well deserved. The fact that Bane took such a close look at the Jedi is what even allowed him the confidence to even attempt to fight with such a complex weapon as a lightsaber, let alone against a Jedi. Number 4, Boba Fett. Though only in the EU, Boba has been seen using a lightsaber on very special occasions. The reason he is placed on this list is because he effectively engaged one of the most highly trained lightsaber users of all time in a brief duel and walked away with his life. That person was of course, Lord Vader. In their brief duel, Boba for a time is shown holding a solid defense against the heavy cleaves of the Sith Lord. Not staggering and remaining in control of the weapon, Boba primarily used the saber as a defensive weapon, not an offensive one, which is actually the wise move when confronting someone more skilled than you with a lightsaber. Boba used the lightsaber in the perfect way, making it one of many options in his arsenal and using it to bolster his abilities, not limit others he had more practice with, such as blasters. The impressiveness of Boba using the lightsaber mainly stems from the individual he used it against, and in the manner he used it. This was no mere Jedi, this was Darth Vader, and that is why Boba belongs on this list. Number 3, Finn. Finn was a stormtrooper, later resistance fighter, and hero who as a time as a stormtrooper was a practice hand in melee combat. Finn was a part of a riot control squadron in the Stormtrooper Corps of the First Order, and as a result of this, received specialized training with the Z6 Control Riot Baton. Finn's training with the weapon allowed him to jump in and use the lightsaber fairly effectively, keeping relatively good control with it, and by far his most impressive display, using it against Kylo Ren in a brief duel where Finn even successfully landed a hit on the young prodigy. Finn's success with the weapon is very impressive and mainly attributed to his training as a stormtrooper with somewhat similar weaponry. I would quickly like to note that there are theories that Finn could potentially be a force user and I chose to include him on this list since it is yet to be confirmed, but I am not ruling it out as a possibility for future Star Wars films, but with the knowledge we currently possess, Finn is not force sensitive, therefore why he is present on this list. Number 2, Pre Vizsla. Pre Vizsla was a Death Watch member and Mandalorian leader at the time of the Clone Wars. What made him so unique is he embraced the exploits of his ancestors and fought against the Jedi, even going as far to use a lightsaber as one of his primary weapons in combat. Vizsla used the weapon as an insult to the Jedi in representation of the strength of the Mandalorians. His lightsaber was a special ancient design darksaber and he trained with it for years to the point where he could use it as an offensive weapon, even against highly trained force users such as Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Maul. Pre Vizsla also used other weapons such as blasters and rocket launchers, but what made him so impressive is he implemented his lightsaber into his main abilities and resources in combat. He was swift and seldom had difficulty wielding the weapon. 
Vizsla's feats with the blade are clearly backed up with years of harsh training and studies with the ancient blade, which made him a unique and fearsome warrior worthy to call himself a Mandalorian. Number 1. General Grievous General Grievous is by far the most skilled and aggressive non-force user lightsaber duelist. Grievous's feats far outmatch any other warrior placed on this list. Grievous was trained by and even capable of keeping pace with Count Dooku. He also had a ridiculously fast striking time and was even capable of producing blinding randomized sequences with his blades. Grievous was also able to use up to four lightsabers simultaneously in combat and overwhelm even multiple opponents by the swiftness and magnitude of his many blows. Grievous could not only contend with, but best, even council level Jedi. Grievous prided himself with his capabilities as a lightsaber user and became proficient enough with the blades to even use his feet to swing the lightsabers. Grievous is without a doubt the most skilled non-force user lightsaber duelist on this list, and no one else's exploits and accomplishments even come close to what Grievous attained as his time as the famed droid general and Jedi killer. Grievous was aggressive, and Jedi who were able to engage him and survive were considered prestigious duelists. To put it simply, when a Jedi Master is patted on the back by his contemporaries for not falling by your blade, you're one stunning swordsman, let alone accomplishing this with the lack of the Force. So there you have it, those are the top 6 lightsaber users that don't have the Force in my opinion. Go ahead and tell me in the comment section who your favorite is and give me your top 5. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter for updates on the channel. We also have a Patreon if you'd like to help contribute to the channel and gain access to some special features. Click the annotations on screen to watch my previous video or a mystery video. Links for all are in the description down below. May the force be with you and have a great day.